Welcome to our series design lectures and I'm Yang and in these lectures we are going to build a sample kitchen and go over the whole procedures and I hope uh, this can remind you and help you uh, be more familiar with, with this software and um, get you the whole ideas of how to of the working procedures in 3D homes and the and the all basic operations. So uh, in the previous parts we have go over to uh, to the each parts of including the uh, product libraries, the designing of uh, the installings of countertop, the installings for door panels, the adjust the door panel styles, and stuff like this. We are going into the details of these parts, but in the real designs, uh, in most cases, we are not going to use that much complex style, complex skills. We are just going to go over the use the pretty simple skills, but uh, we gotta be Exposed, we gotta be smart, we gotta be uh, familiar with all these operations so that uh, when it's really needed, you can find it out and use it. Okay, so the targets of this lecture is um, I want to uh, build an ice sheet kitchen uh, with about 3 to 4 meters, and I want to build an island within uh, a little bit the countertop extension to form a bar. And I would like to have the a few high cabinets for the appliance and for the storage storage and I would like to have a couple of pull up baskets uh, maybe a dishes baskets, um, a side pulling baskets or a, a cookware baskets and uh, based on this uh, let's get started so I didn't set the space styles uh, really carefully so I might need to uh, go back to the global styles and before that, I'm going to pull my cabinets out. So um, I would like to get started for my high cabinets actually. Um, I would like to have a single door and door high cabinets. And then I would like to have an appliance cabinet with the uh, both containing the microwave and the oven. So I'm going for going for this one. Two door, two appliances. Um, to make this look nicer, I would like to have this one in the 600 view as well. Uh, adjust the locations for this one. Uh, adding the big door for this two sides. And then. Hmm, Go to the 2D space. I might need a larger space for this one. And then setting up the space. Um, for the lower space, I would like the highest to be 720 instead of 660. Uh, same logic, I would like this one to be 720. Uh, double check the door opening directions. Um, this one is pretty good. Go for the and then we go for my move on to my base cabinets. I would like to have a single door base cabinet right here. 450, pretty good, no, no problems. And the uh, and then I would like to have my sink cabinet. This is my storage part, and then following my storage parts, I would like to have my sink cabinet. And by the way, I would like to have the highest to be 720. And even though this one is by default the 660, when you move it and attach to this one, the height of it will automatically change to the 720, as you can see here. And then I would like to have a, a, another hinge door cabinet, um, or a side pulling basket. Um, I would like to have a uh, pull baskets in the multifunctional pull up baskets right here and then I would like to have a, um, this is um, all the um, I think I can have this one and then I can have the stove I can have the two eco pull stove I would like to use the 
the stove piece to be 900 millimeters and then I would like to have two extra drawers like here. So my cabinet looks like this in the end. So and then I'm going to install it, putting the uh, brick door for this cabinet on this side. And then I can uh, put in the um, put in the wall cabinets. So um, single door base cabinets, uh, single door wall cabinets. Um, I'm actually go for double door wall cabinets like here. This here. Another double door wall cabinets, and the range wood wall cabinets. And for the end parts, I would like to have some open shelves or the or the open cabinets. So um, let's see what are the open cabinet options do I have. Um, I would like to have something like this: the front barrel open wall cabinets. This one is the left. I would like to have a right open one like this, and pretty good. Mm, this one's the styles, and I think pretty good. And then I can go back and work for my islands. For my islands, I would like to have the um, the cabinets like the drawers, a combination of drawers and the doors. Um, I'm going for the up single drawers and down up single drawers and the uh, down two doors. I'm going for the V mode and I'm going to rotate this. And uh, I would like the distance to be about 900, about this much. I'm going to use the measuring tools, use the ruler here to measure the the distance between this one to this one. Uh, 13, 15, that's a little bit too much. I would like this to be about uh, 900. And then I can copy and paste. And then installing my big doors. Decorative panels, big doors, base cabinet, big door, base cabinet, big door, two. And then um, in, I'm going to install big doors on this part. Um, but in, the, in order to install big door on those parts, I, I will need to have the uh, have a feedback panel. So I'm going to go for the feedback panels on these two parts. And then go for big doors. As you can see here, the big door cannot attach to this. To this, so I have to um, adjust its locations by, by 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 setting up the numbers right here, including the height seven twenty. The height should be seven twenty. We attach this cabinet. We attach my big doors, and then for this ones, um, set this one to zero. Make sure it's covering this ones, and uh, uh, is it covering? No, it's not. So you're gonna use the ruler here to measure the distance to this ones. Change this to zero. And now it's covering. Okay. And for this one, the distance of this to the wall is 3624. So I'm gonna set this the distance of this to the wall to the 3624 as well. And now it's covering exactly the same place on this part. Copy and paste. I got another one right here. I would like this one to come this way. 
can use the ruler. The distance of this thick door to the wall is 42 31. So we're going to set this to 42 31 as well. Use the ruler to measure the elements right here. I'll set this to the 31, set this one to zero. And now it's well attached to the panels right here. Alright, so for now I can double check the opening directions of each door panels. Uh, it seems that uh, it's working pretty well. And then I can uh, adjust the door panels. Adding the door panel style. For the base cabinets, I would like to have a wood green cabinet, uh, wood green panels. Um, when I made over ones and the materials I'm going to choose uh, uh, wood greens ones, the, this one for example. And then for the wall cabinet, I would like to have a maybe white lacquer, uh, probably one side. Um, I go lacquer, the make lacquers one side applied. Wait for a few seconds. All right. Uh, what's been noted here is something like cabinet up single drawer, double down, double hinge drawers. Have intersect. Drag again to fit this cabinet. So some of the cabinet is intersect. So I'm not sure which one is it. The drawer cabinets. Let's see. Is it this one? I don't see any errors. Okay, so I'm going to choose change the this one to the lacquer material as well. Double lacquer, make lacquer. And the white made lacquer. Okay, so number of shelves I would like to have two of these shelves. And then I can uh, add the countertops, add the kickboards, and adjust handles. So to add a countertop, press installing for countertops. I do not want to have any backsplash installed on this side, so, so I'm gonna choose uninstall the connect but the, the, the backsplash on that part. Step to six six engines and tens and the we um I would like to have um, an actual 30, so I would like to go for the 33 and 50. And for this part as well, I would like to have uh, this one extended 50 on the front part. So uh, 580 plus 50, uh, 630. And I would like to have about uh, 300 millimeter extensions on this part uh, so that I have a nice, nice bar for settings. So I'm going to add 300 on this part, so it becomes 930. Add 30 to the weave right here becomes the 1870 at 32 this parts it becomes 9 19 engines okay so now I can install the so for now I can choose for the styles and I'm going for the uh, 14 40 barrel edge uh, 40 longer edge and the height of the backsplash to uh, be 40 as usual and the Table materials. I'm going for the uh, uh, applying P5 series. I'm going for uh, uh, this materials, for example. Make sure this line is in the green line, not in purple. And make sure the the every other part looks good. And then I can press generate. All right. So this is my uh, kitchen with islands and the and the little bar right here. So for now, I can install the uh, select the side panels right here. Install the microwave and the ovens. Uh, ovens on the bottom, so I'm going to install the ovens right here. Um, the 
microwave on the top part, this one. This looks too high, and I'm going to adjust the, the lower doors to a half of these panels to make it 360. Okay, now it looks much better. But in this case, um, maybe the lower parts becomes a drawers will be a better option. So I'm going to adjust models right here. Go for a drawer cabinet. Single door. No, actually the switch cabinet and the drawers. Go for one drawers, uh, one door and double and double appliance. So I'm going to going to delete these ones and put these ones right here. We apply the door panel style. And then install the appliances again. I want the bottoms. Microwave in the top parts. And then now I can go in for going to install the the kickboards and the handles. Installing the kickboards. The kickboard for the countertop looks good, but the kickboards for this part uh, looks not good. I got a little, it's obviously that I got a little gap right here. Uh, I want to attach this one, the frame of this to this size uh, to make sure that, that I'm not going to generate two kickboards for these parts. Okay, so display cabinets and uh, select generates. WCC kickboards. I'm going for the door materials keyboard right here. Um, door materials keyboards, um, one hundred and ten heights. Door line materials, melamine, uh, melamine grade C. Uh, oh, 50 rooms, I think this is. All right, this is my door materials keyboards, and the, and then I would like to have the handles. For handles replacements, I would like to replace your black modern style handles, for example, this one. Alright, so uh, I'm almost done. Uh, I'm going to install the appliances, the sink and the stove. So first I select the whole cabinets of the sink cabinets and right click. Go for the electrical appliances and hardware. Go for sink installations, finer I would like to have a big square sink, for example, this one, and then I would like to have a faucet. All right. Uh, if I would like to replace this sink, or I would like to replace it to another uh, faucet, I can go to the panel selection mode, select my sink, right click, and go for the electrical appliance and hardware. Go for sink replacements. Then I can replace this sink to other type of sinks right here. Okay. Then I go for my stove. Select the whole cabinet first. Right click. Go for the stove installations. And again, choose a uh, stove I like. Uh, remember the 12 T and the 20 Y here uh, stands for different uh, uh, different kind of type of gas. But, and the and the Q two six two C here stands for different type of sink, uh, the, the the first letters and numbers here. For example, I choose this one, double click, and then I got this this uh, stove installed right here. If I go to panel selection mode, select this stove, right click, then I can install the range width. Uh, for example, I would like to have this T-shaped range right here. Its location is not that good. It's conflicting with my door panels. So I'm going to the panel selection mode and make it a little bit lower. For example, minus 120. Okay, now it looks pretty good. And then, what else do I need to do? Let's see. And then I have almost, I'm almost done with this kitchen and then I'm going to adjust my drawer slides and maybe hinges. And for this too, uh, 
um, I don't want to have any um, for example for my work cabinets um, instead of going for the handles um, if I would like to have the concealed handles what do I do I can go for the global styles or I can since I only got two cabinets right here I'm going to change them one by one to change it to KO5s here and for this one um, I would like it to change it to the KO5 as well but I cannot install any KO5s right here uh, as you can see um, if I got still install the KO5 here I cannot use them so I'm going for the ordinary cabinets uh, the only difference is that I'm going to delete the handles and then go for accessories I'm going for the rebound for 048s uh, accessories rebound hinge 048s now I got two rebound hinge and no handles so this becomes two rebound forward and for these two cabinets the door panel style I would like it to be in the white lacquer all right so this is everything I want for these kitchens and then I can select the choose for the uh, double checks um, do some double checks final double checks and adjust the the, the real type, uh, the draw slide, slide types and the type of the functional parts uh, including the including the what the, 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 the pull out baskets type. For here I would like to go for the broom conceal slide and this one broom conceal slide as well. Back to this side. Um, I got this one drawers. Uh, I would like to be the rounder slide. No, 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 broom metal slides. And same for this two. I would like it to be in the broom metal slide. Broom metal slide. And for this one, I would like to the I would like to have the uh, up pull to be in the LW O nine O D ones, and the bottom ones to be LT O nine O D one. And for the middle pull-off, uh, multifunctional pull-off baskets, um, LD 045 D ones, and all of this will end in D ones, and that means that they are in the same series. All right, so um, now I have done with my kitchens. I can do the product inspections and see uh, if there's any errors. Uh, I can take a look at the standardized detections. 84.62 what's wrong with these panels um, the panel height is in regular maybe and uh, I don't see any I don't see why this is a uh, unregular panel and then I can go run for the one click exports and take a look at the product inspections and see are there anything wrong with it? Base cabinet, plate door, side decorative panel depth and cabinet depth do not meet the process. Select them. Please check again to fix. Uh, this depth does not meet the process. Uh, I'm going to reattach this. This one. Reattach, reattach it and uh, reattach this one. Alright, then I'm running the product inspections again. Um, it seems there's still an error is open. Let me double check the size right here. 580, 720, and the height for the, and this one's 560. Mm, no problems, I think the depth here is pretty good. So, what I can do before I export the file here is that I can just ignore these two parts and confirm and uh, save the plans before I move on for example the sample kitchen and then I can do the one click exports and send the files to all of this so this is everything for um, the whole working procedure of designing the kitchens 
and hope this uh, gets you an idea. Um, for sure, before displaying these kitchens to your customers, uh, you may want to add some decorations, including some maybe dishes, the chairs, the um, other decorations, maybe some books um, to help make the kitchens feel more live, um, get more live feelings. And to order these kitchens, uh, you can check our uh, uh, three home ordering process uh, videos and there we, to get more details of how to fill in these ones and send it to us and how to uh, deal with all kinds of common errors. So for now, uh, this is everything for these modern style kitchens and thank you for listening. I will see you next time.